low life. Exterior, West Texas, day. Dry desert extends as far as the eye can see. There are more tumbleweeds than people. The only vehicle on the two-lane highway is a beat-up rental car. The driver, Amelia, 30s, in her smart and tailored suit, does not exactly blend in with her surroundings. Exterior, Main Street, day. Amelia drives her way through what looks to be an abandoned city center. Shops with eroded signs line the barren street. This fucking place. She drives past the edge of Main Street and sees two older men, in weathered overalls with even more weathered faces, sitting in front of the one establishment still open, the bar. Amelia gives a slight nod, but the men don't acknowledge. Exterior, McCabe Residence, Day. In the middle of outstretched flat desert sits a small one-story wooden house. Just beyond the house are broken wooden pens and a barn that no longer sits fully upright. Amelia parks out front. She grabs her designer leather duffel and laptop case from the back seat and walks onto the front porch. She takes a key from her pocket and unlocks the door. Interior, McCabe residence, day. A raw stench permeates the room. Amelia drops her things and opens up a window. Layers of dust coat the tables in the living room. Blankets lay outstretched on the frayed couch. Amelia walks into the kitchen. Interior, McCabe kitchen, day. The source of the stench becomes apparent with the high pile of dirty dishes in the sink. Barely holding back the remnants of her last meal, Amelia weighs whether or not to wash the dishes, ultimately deciding to ignore for the moment. When she opens the refrigerator, the remnants of decaying food unleash a smell unlike she's ever experienced. She slams the fridge door shut, close to losing the vomit battle, but turns around swiftly at the sound of a shotgun pump. What the fuck you doing in my house? Liam, early 70s, skin and bones in a worn-out robe, aims the shotgun directly at Amelia. Dad, it's me, Amelia. I know who it is. I'm not senile. What the fuck are you doing in my house? Put it down. Liam lowers the shotgun. He stands tall, squares his shoulders, until a coughing fit crumples him over. Where's the oxygen tank? Liam chokes on his mucus-laden cough. Amelia approaches him, but he waves her off. Frustrated, Amelia walks into the bedroom. Interior, McCabe, master bedroom, day. Expecting the same disaster that is the living room, Amelia is shocked to see the bedroom is neat and tidy. The bed is tucked in with a colorful knit blanket covering the bottom half. A framed picture of her mother embracing her father sits atop the nightstand. Amelia picks it up and smiles at the lovely photo. The sound of her father coughing snaps Amelia back to the present. She locates the oxygen tank and wheels it back to the kitchen. Interior, McCabe Kitchen, Day. Amelia wheels the oxygen tank over to her father, who sits at the table holding his head. She grabs the breathing tube and attempts to place it under her father's nose, but Liam seizes the tube from her, placing it in his nostrils. He takes in a deep, cough-free breath. When he exhales, a cold silence fills the room. Amelia knows Liam would rather die than be the first to break it. The house is a mess. I like the mess. And yet, the bedroom is pristine. Liam gives her a look that says, tread lightly. You sent away the nurse. I don't need a babysitter. When you can barely feed and bathe yourself, then yes, you do need a babysitter. I've been taking care of myself for the last 15 years and will continue to do so until I finally take my last shitty breath. Her hand held tightly in a fist. Amelia resists the urge to hit something or someone. Why? Why what? Why is everything a goddamn fight? You are dying. You smoked a pack of cigarettes a day, every day, and, surprise, lung cancer decided to make permanent residence. The nurse was not only here to care for you, but also to maintain the house. I am only trying to help. Help? You left us. You made your choice. I left you. Silence. Amelia brushes past her father and walks out of the house. 